I'm Gucci. So I went to the mall today with Ray. I went everybody know Ray. I went to the um I went to the mall today with Ray at uh the West End Mall, y'all. If you in Atlanta, you I mean if you if you're not in Atlanta, you wouldn't know what I'm talking about. But we went to a fucking mall and um so we we had we got there we got there we was hungry so we got some food or whatever and um when we when we was leaving to get our food I seen one of my cousins and she was she ran like I ran into one of my cousins in the mall or whatever. So I had when she hugged me or whatever and shit and um trying to come to all right. So she hugged me or whatever and and um she was gonna go out the door but she, when I was sitting in the subway and um Ray was like, You should I think your cousin about to get into fighting. And I was like, when I turned around, when I turned around, I seen my cousin and this grown ass lady. Like, no, I um uh, why the fuck she called? I had seen the lady and my cousin argue what the fuck? What the fuck went on the girl? Anyway, I had seen my cousin and the grown lady arguing or whatever. So I looked back and me and Ray went outside. So I walked out there like, I'm like, y'all, I was like, what the fuck going on? I was like, what's going on? And the lady kept, the lady kept this light. I don't know why I was doing it. Let me see. And this lady, she just, I mean, the lady, she just kept, she kept getting smart. And I'm like, well, shawty, I'm just letting you know now. If you hit my cousin, bitch, we gonna beat your ass. And then, so like. Oh, she run her mouth and shit. Man, I'm like, man, Javari, you come on. Because she wasn't talking about nothing. You know what I'm saying? You're not, you're not finna sit here and just argue. That's a that's a waste of time. One, I don't even do all that talking. I just walked out just trying to see what was going on. So I walked out. And then, so the whole, the lady, she started walking in her car. Walking in her car. Um, She started walking in her car, right? She had a mace with her. She had a little mace with her. She started walking in her car. All right. So I was like, well, y'all, come on. She, she finna go. We think she finna go. So we walking her ass back in the mall. We we walked past the fucking subway and my cousin was like, "Hold on, y'all, she coming back, she coming back." We look, she had her hand behind her back like she had a gun or something. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what the fuck she had. And then she had a whole bunch of niggas with her. She had a um whole bunch of niggas with her. So my cousin and cousin and her friends was like, "Oh hell no!" Then they start running. They start running. They took out the back door of the mall and start running. They went. And it's like when you go out the back, y'all. When you go out the back, it's a it's a train station type of shit, bus shit right there. So they was running that way. So I'm following her, cause I'm at the mall. I wasn't with them. She just happened to see me in the mall, my cousin. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just being me. You know what I'm saying? I made sure she got up there where she, where she was running to, running for them folks, and um, make sure she got there. So being Ray, but I was like Ray, I'm not finna run them all the way up here. So come on. So we broke, we broke off. My cousin them still running from them. We broke off and took another street, right? But we was coming back to the mall. So look, we look. We I asked. I told Ray to look and see if the lady and the boys were still over there. And he was like, no, he didn't see them. So when you come out the mall, if we go to the right, you go to the mall. So that's what we looking at. The hole was sent to the left, y'all. The hole was sent to the left. Now mind y'all, bitch. This a grown ass hole, big as fuck. I'm talking about, bitch, grown hole. I'm talking about. So I'm walking. So well, I'm walking towards the right. Ho come from the left. The bitch now. The bitch now. So, they was like, Ray, I turned around. She ran up in my face. And she was like, um. She was like, where your cousin at? Yo, where your cousin at? Y'all want to do this? Y'all want to do I said, hold on. I had, now, look, y'all had my book bag on me. We was in the mall. You know what I'm saying? We shopping shit. I got my book bag on me and shit. You big ass hoodie. I don't fight with hoodies and shit. Because I don't do all that shit. So, she in my face. But I'm like, I'm like, hold on, shawty, get out my face. I'm like, I ain't with that shit. I'm telling you, because, you know, my cousin was arguing with her. I said, I ain't with that shit, shawty, get out my face. She kept pressing me. You know what I'm saying? When I feel pressed, I'm like, all right, so she's trying me now. So I was, as, soon as, I went out, as soon as I went to take off my book bag, y'all, I'm like, hold on, Ray, hold this. Now, this a grown bitch. I don't give no fuck how old you is, but you're not finna be in my face trying me like no lame. So she, as soon as I take my book bag off to give it to Ray, ho grabbed my hair. She grabbed my hair, y'all. The whole grabbed my hair. Pulling my hair right. Let me tell you, the whole snuck me. As soon as I turned around to get ready my book bag, they all gonna grab my hair, right? She grabbed my hair. Her her, her boyfriend now, husband, big swole, big as fuck. The fuck, these niggas pushed me to the wall. I'm talking about, I mean, he pushed me into the little, he pushed me into the door. Why this hoe just got my hair? I'm like, oh, hell, I'm like, bitch, let my hair go. He holding, he really, he got his back against my stomach, pressing me against the wall while they hoe just got my hair. 
So I'm like, bro, let me go. This whole ripping my chains off and shit. She she grabbed, she when she tried to grab my hair, she caught on to my chain. She ripped my chain off. So I'm like, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm like, bro, get the fuck off me. This big ass, grown ass man, y'all. This her boyfriend. I'm like, bro, get the fuck off of me. This whole still pulling. When I, when I saw the hoe, like, when I could see the hoe, because he, he's so big, so I can't even see where, where she at. I just know she got my hair over him. So I'm looking. I can see her. I took, I, I kicked the fuck out that hoe. I'm talking about she had my hair, so I kicked her, whatever. I, I kicked her to try to let, make, let go my hair so we can hit, bitch. Man, no. Sis start pulling even more. But I like that. But and if the boyfriend would not move, bro, I'm talking about he was saving his whole life. Would not, she would not move, bro. So look, I can see the hoe. Hair, y'all. So I tried to grab that shit, you know what I'm saying? So so he can move out the way. Tell me why I grabbed the shit, y'all, and the shit was a little fake ponytail. They didn't do shit for me. Like I'm talking about I grabbed the whole hair, so I'm thinking, then I got hair, I got hair, he gonna move out the way so I can hit with the hoe. No, y'all. I pulled the fucking ponytail and the shit fell on the ground. This hoe got a little stick on her head. I said, What the it was slick funny, but at the time I'm mad. Now I'm ready to hit. Cause sis, so look, she when I kicked and she let go of my hair. She tried to grab again, and then she scratched me in the face because she tried to grab my hair, and her nails went across my eye right here. And she grabbed my hair again, His, and, the, and the boyfriend, that grown-ass nigga, still touching me. Bitch, move, bro. And look, so he he holding me while the hoe just keep pulling my hair. If you gonna, if you gonna, if you gonna sneak me, bitch, hit me. You was pulling my hair the whole time. She pulled out some hair. Like, it wasn't even she Like, you should have did more than what you did, bitch. So she pulled my hair and shit, and he holding me. He holding me. He let her. He told her to go to the car, y'all. So her car was parked right there now. Her car was parked right, right where we was. She goes jump in the car. She didn't even jump in the car, but she talking like, like how you have in the car. She go to the car, bro. Whole talking all this shit. So I ran. I'm talking about. I finally broke loose her big ass boyfriend. Like bitch, get off me, bro. We got to hit. So I snatched the hoodie off. I'm talking about outside in the bra, a real ass bra. I'm talking about. Run up, soon as I run up to the car, that big ass grown man, he took my hair, that bitch grabbed me by my hair. I, I, he said, and then I had spit on the car, cause she tried to pull off. He was like, that's my car, he, and he, he pulled me my hair. I said, fuck nigga, you just touched me. I said, you a grown ass man, just touched me. I'm talking about, first thing I did, I, okay, so, I've been, like, today we knew that my, my brother, all my brothers was surprising my brother, I mean, my, um, all my brothers was um supposed to surprise my my dad just had a recent birthday. So all my brothers got together and, you know, had a little dude day, whatever you want to call it. And, you know, chill with my dad for his birthday type shit. Baby. So I called his phone call. I knew all my brothers was together. So I was like, and then the boy, so when I get on the phone, so when I get on the phone, like, nigga, you just touch me. So I was like, bro, I'm finna have my brothers come see about your way, boy. This nigga started running in the mall. Like, he started taking off. Like, he went in the mall. I should have followed him. So I call him. He like, oh, we on the way. We on the way, y'all. Get to the mall. The bitch. I'm looking for the bitch. I'm looking for the whole that 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 grown ass woman that fucking pulled my hair, bitch. And had your husband snatch me by my hair while you took off. Oh, you should have beat my ass. Hold on, pull my hair and run, bro. Cause when I when he when I broke loose out of her boyfriend and I ran up to that car, hoe pulled off, bro. Hoe pulled off. These niggas. Oh my god, y'all. Oh my. I I thought it was just him and one of my brothers. Them niggas jumped out of the car. So deep, I'm talking about all my brothers once plant all them cut them gun. Bitch, who put the hand on my sister? When I tell you all them little niggas scattered like roaches, man, all the, everybody out there took the fuck off, bro. Everybody out there. The, the, and then the man, the man that hit me, the, the man that hit me was nowhere to be found. He was nowhere to be found. They was like they thought home um they thought homeboy was hiding in the bathroom. Couldn't find bro. He went when he saw me get on the phone, he started running, bro. He started running. I'm talking about, um, they how about the car, scrap, oh, which one of y'all fuck niggas took, hit my sister, I'm talking about, police came out the door, y'all, police came out the door, he like this, get, get in the car, get, like, bitch, how, like, you got one gun against all my brothers, you tripping, that police was shook as fuck when they got out of the car, he said, get back in the car, just get back in the, that, he was shaking like a bitch, I'm talking about, that jump was so lame, but it was some loyal ass boy niggas out there, they were like, when they came around the corner, they were like, what happened? They were like, who pulled who hell? And then some other niggas, they was like, they were like, that grown-ass man just pulled her hell. 
And they were like, oh, we about to beat the nigga ass. So I, had, I don't even know them folk, but they was riding. I don't know who they was. I don't know them grown men. I don't know no, nobody. But them, they was looking for that nigga. They finna fuck that nigga up. But they had already called my brother them. And all them pushed up. 